Hey guys, thank you for joining me on your Sun in Taurus series videos. These are supposed to resonate from April 21st through May the 21st. The element in quality is earth and fixed. The positive words for the Sun in Taurus is patient, grounded, loyal, hardworking, punctual, and efficient. We're going to try to say positive, but there is negative aspects in the Sun of Taurus, and that could be stubborn possessiveness and rigid we're going to go more in depth on each sign so come back and join me i hope you guys enjoy your message hey virgos thank you for joining me on your video i hope you guys are having a good time this month and being safe out there this is your sun and taurus video let's see what messages have in store for you. Okay, let's start messages. We have what's centering you is the sun card. What's crossing you? Four of swords. What's in your head? The seven of wands. What's in your foundation? Oh, the Seven of Swords. That's not good. In your past. Holding on to your finances. Four of coins. In your future. The Three of Pentacles. Coins. The way they see you. Feeling stuck and trapped. The way you see them. Judgment. Your hopes and fears. Is the Hangman. And the Nine of Wands. Your future, we have New Beginning, Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, we're going to start message. The Sun card. With the Sun card here, I feel like a lot of you are very happy. Being around somebody that is very childlike, very optimistic, very joyful, just being very happy where you're at right now. And what's crossing you is that you're staying at home, you're in your thoughts, in your head, in your emotions. There's no emotional cards out right now. So you're basically in your head about emotions, could be. Or in your head about how you're not stable. How you don't have stability. But there's a lot of communication going on that's causing some kind of disarray. Your clarification of the sun card is the hangman. Feeling like you're trapped and stuck. And what is the four of swords about? Planning ahead. Feeling stuck and trying to figure out a decision on how to plan something romantic. Some kind of planting your seeds basically taking action and waiting for your ships to come in because there's something that's that's weighing heavily on you heavily on you and causing you to want to move forward passionately in your head you're you're in your head about some, somebody taking a stand and being very honest and upright forward about bluntness about some kind of doing things the right way and your clarification is the seven of wands again I'm going to pick another one because that is very strongly that maybe both of you are standing around you're both maybe hard headed and button heads at this time and you're dealing with a queen or a king of pentacles this person is very head strong hard headed they're set in their ways. They believe passion should be a certain way, and they're standing the ground about it. The foundation was built on deceit, falseness, lies, cheating, and the clarification that we got when it comes to love. Somebody was deceitful when it comes to love. Someone came in with a on a white horse, basically, appearing to be this prince. And, uh, Prince Charming 
and really they were not they were just trying to come in with passion just to get passion and then come sneaking back out and getting passion in and out and I bet you that's what someone stood their ground about and said I'm not having that I'm looking for my one I don't want to be with somebody that doesn't want to commit with me in the back the past someone was maybe fearful because they could have been holding on to their emotions or their finances in their past and was fearful maybe that a person was just out to to take their finances and not their emotions when this person was just not out to get their finances they were out to get their emotions out to get physical with a person and out so what is this four of pentacles about four pentacles clarification for the four pentacles thank you we got the page of swords someone was very harsh with their words very cruel very mean in the past holding back their finances or holding back their emotions and just being very harsh What is going on with the three of pentacles? The three of pentacles in the near future. Somebody is working hard, being noticed for the hard work that they put into stuff. A hard worker, and we have the five of cups. This person was disappointed in some love situation. Someone put in a lot of time and energy towards someone and just got disappointed in it. Or they are going to be feeling as if there's going to be disappointment if they put hard work into a relationship in the near future because of what happened in the past with someone being harsh and cutting. But they're trying to figure out how to work on this and not have this conflict of disappointment about what has occurred in the past. This lying and cheating and deceit going on. That's the conflict and disappointment, but they're working really hard to get past that. Now this person here feeling stuck, someone here feels like they're obligated to be with somebody when they're really not. If you don't feel it, if you're not feeling it with this person, you need to let them go. Because it's only fair because when you're staying with them, feeling, if you stay with someone with the intentions of feeling that you owe this to them because they were good to you and they really didn't do you wrong and you feel obligated to be with them, you're just taking away their dreams because eventually everyone is looking for their other half. Their one. People do not sit around and hope that they are with their one. They just wish and dream of the divine bringing the right one to them. If you're feeling stuck and trapped, you need to let this go. If you don't feel like this is your one, you need to let them go. See? Your one, your passion. If you're not feeling passionate toward this person, you need to let them go. You need to do the right thing. And it may hurt them, but in the long run, you're doing them a favor because it brings them the right person that they're meant to be with in their life. And it brings you the right person that you're meant to be with in your life. This person could have been a catalyst in your life, or you could have been a catalyst to them. There was a lot of lessons learned with this line of deceit going on, this emotion, emotional deceit. What is the clarification, Spirit Guides? And it's divine. Thank you. Ending. You need to end feeling stuck and trapped. You're never stuck and trapped in a situation. You could be feeling stuck and trapped due to the fact that this coronavirus came out and it caused everybody to be in lockdown basically and you were trapped with this person and that's what it's coming to an end because lockdowns coming out it's uh, being released and now things are going to be open in the world again and you just have to do things differently and you're not going to be trapped you're going to be free to do what it is that you want to do if you're with somebody that's controlling 
that is trying to control the situation and making you feel trapped and stuck, well, this is your chance to end it. You need to have a conversation. Now, the way they are seeing you is that you're ending this feeling trapped and stuck in this thing. If this was you that did any kind of deceit, emotional deceit, behaviors, in and out, romantically, having multiple partners, whatever, they're seeing you ending this. Now, the way you're seeing them is like they're going to be judgmental against you. That they're very spiritual. That they do the right thing. And you feel like you're going to be judged upon if you talk about what happened in the past. But if you don't talk about what happened in the past, you're going to stay stuck and trapped in your head about all this stuff that went on. Okay. Here's what's going on with the judgment. You also see them seeing things like justice will be served. Karma will happen to those that do wrong. And they're moving on. They're not holding on. They're not feeling stuck. They're moving forward into a calmer space. Wanting harmony. Wanting peace. And calmness. Wanting someone to be in their life. Wanting to be not alone. But with someone. And having a calm relationship with someone. Wanting to have a commitment. You guys could be planning a trip over water or going to a body of water a lot getting on a boat traveling on water your hopes and fears here I see that you guys see that this person is very forgiving by the way and that they are not judgmental you took them the wrong way you saw them being like Oh, they're a certain way and then they wind up being totally different now with this nine of swords being in your head your hopes and fears your hope is that this person can forgive you and get out of their head about the situation and not feel stuck anymore your hope is that this person's not gonna be stuck in their head anymore and your fear is that they're going to be stuck in their head you're hoping that they forgive you and then no longer feeling stuck and trapped about the past situation that happened. Clarification is the Queen of Cups, something to do with emotion or with a water sign. And the Four of Pentacles came back out. So clearly it had something to do with holding on to an emotion toward a water sign. Feeling stuck and trapped, believing that this person was your one and maybe they wasn't. You were holding on. Your fear is that this person feels like that you're still holding on to that person and you're not letting them go. And that could be the fear that's going on here. But this person's over it and they're ready to go and move forward in a situation calmly into calm waters and find the right person that's meant to be with them. Because they don't want to be with somebody that's not loyal and loving and kind and meant to be with them. In the future, we have a new beginning. Someone took off. I feel like all this deceit and stuff happened, and someone moved far away, moved away, and cut this feeling stuck and trapped and ended a situation and moved on from this feeling trapped and stuck because they realized they wouldn't trap and stuck. They were causing this on their own self, and so they started a new beginning. And by doing this, it opened someone up, and they seen the light. Of how someone really truly was and they are coming back to offer let's see I don't think I got that see this person took off and started a new beginning now this person's like I just offered to the wrong person I should have been offering to them I'm coming after them now I'm coming back to offer them a new commitment before they get away they were my one and I was just in the wrong state of mind thinking in the wrong state of mind maybe indulging in too much stuff and it caused me it caused you or the person that you're dealing with to have cloudy judgment 
and now that you're not on anything, not taking intaking anything that's causing you to have cloudy judgment, this is what causes you to see clearly and you're cutting away the people that don't deserve your love and you're going to start fresh and new and clean the slate with somebody and communicate this clearly or someone who could have came in and said look if you're going to offer your love because this person's in blue and here they are in blue if you're going to offer your love to this person in green then I'm just going to go on my merry way and then they wind up being happier because they're not just in blue anymore they're in blue green yellow and fulfilling their own dreams and happiness and the clarification we got is the all oh, six lovers the lovers card the pentacles and the five of wands so I feel like there was conflict about moving on moving forward wanting a new beginning and this person here this earth sign it could be you guys want stability realize that you gave your offer to the wrong person because here you're facing this way and now you're facing this way toward this lover and this person came in and cut you off because they found you with a third person and they moved on be single that was the conflict is it was hard for them to move forward and move on without you because they believed that you were their one and you didn't see it at the time but now you see it and you see the conflict and you're ready to come and make a commitment to this person okay what messages do we have for Virgos? thank you that's too many I just need one you guys got the king of spades King of Spades says the Emperor wisdom experience authority figure so you are dealing with an Emperor you were dealing with someone that took charge like I said here I want to get a clarification with this deck to, to see what is said about that just because you got double on that that one What is the clarification for the Seven of Wands out of this deck? What extra message do you have? Okay, we got two cards for you guys. Yep. Someone stood the ground and here is emotional fulfillment. Someone stood the ground about a love offer. They were standing the ground about a love offer. And now an earth sign's coming in with a love offer about it. I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And as you can see, this earth sign is offering this fire sign. So you're probably dealing with the fire sign. And right here, do you see how this fire sign is being guarded about this love being brought in? Because this love is just a page. It is not a king, a queen. It was a childish love offer coming in. Someone that was just... Um, being like a player basically type and this person said no I don't want this kind of relationship I want a king so now that it made this person get on a horse they may be slow about it but they're coming in with some kind of commitment not just with a cup now not just with passion they're coming in with some more they're coming in with stability now I hope you guys like this please let me in the comments below Please be safe out there, and always remember, guys, treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless.